The Nueces River Authority is looking to build a mega desal plant on Harbor Island. Its plan is to lease the site from the Port of Corpus Christi and then get the financing needed to build one of the largest desal plants in the world. Our Michael Gibson has the exclusive details in his report tonight. He's here now with what is a huge development. Michael. The Port of Corpus Christi is still working on getting all of the permits needed to build a desal plant on Harbor Island. But now, the Nueces River Authority is hoping to use those permits and then lease the island from the port and have a company come in and build, design, and operate the plant to supply water across our area and even possibly across the state. You're looking at video of Harbor Island, which is basically just one big grassy field. One that could soon be turned into a multi-billion dollar desal plant site. The Nueces River Authority's Executive Director, John Byram, is looking to lease the site from the port and then find private financing to build a facility. One that would be the third largest desal plant in the entire world. It would eventually produce 450 million gallons of water a day. They're looking for an experienced company to build and operate it. Procure a company with 25 plus years of seawater uh, desal experience and have them design, build the plant under our purview. And once uh, they get it designed and built, then they would operate it for a period of time. We asked the mayor and several council members about the Nueces River Authority's big plans. That's because those don't include turning the site over to the city of Corpus Christi to run. At the moment, we have not been given details of that particular project. Uncertainties include funding, customers, rates, timeline. Uh, so uh, not to uh, say it's not a good project, it's just for us a little bit of uncertainty. The truth of the matter, we need the water for industry. So if that happens, we could go purchase the water from them for industry. We wish them all the best. I think our project has the most certainty. Uh, we've already got funding. Uh, we already have a base of customers. So exactly who would use all of the Harbor Island desal plant water? John Byram tells 3 News, any community here or across the state could tap into the pipeline. He also tells us that several cities in the San Antonio area have already expressed interest. Senator Perry has a plan out that would ultimately end up running, uh, you know, conveyance pipe over into um, West Texas too. I also asked Nueces River Authority CEO John Byram about when this plant could be built and operated. He told me that by the end of 2028 is the goal. I did ask about the environmental factors surrounding the building of this plant and its impact on the ship channel. And Byram says the plan is to take that saltwater discharge and pipe it out three and a half miles out into the Gulf.